Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and today we have a little frozen entree for you. This is from a brand that we have tried several of their products, both in the freezer section and in the restaurant. Not had the best of luck with them. But no, we have not. There and is always a new time or a new day to try. What is this? This is the Boston Market Home Style Meals Hot Honey Fried Chicken. Fried all white meat chicken glazed in a honey hot pepper sauce with pepper jack mac and cheese. And this is a 13 ounce tray of it for around $3.59 at Meyer. And you know, I, I do feel like what you see on the cover is pretty much what you see in the tray. So that's a plus, I guess. Boston Market, I feel like is a dying chain, yeah. you know. Um, it's really a shame because um, they used to be everywhere back in the day, but like, what? I'm just thinking about, and no wonder it's a dying chain with the fact that whenever we picked up their like hot and spicy sandwich, it was basically like thrown to you yeah. in a, you know, yeah. in a tied up, like, it you was, know, doggy bag dude, kind of thing. It was like a disaster, man. <laughs> it the was whole thing. terrible. It was a mess. I could... I can't believe they like just did that to us, man. Like, like I, I feel like that was a personal attack. Yeah, it was a personal attack. Like I think she was mad. It was a Saturday night or Sunday night or something like that. I went over there late at night. I think it was like eight o'clock at night or something, yeah. seven o'clock. She was pissed. Yeah, she, she was, was mad. Yeah, because they were understaffed, you know, mm -hmm. and like. She, well, how many people are going to Boston Market? Yeah, though? I think she knew that uh, we have a YouTube channel where we review food, and she was like, you know. It. <laughs> let's just let's just let's sink this ship. Yeah, let's just, let's, let's bring this company down. <laughs> and guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review our day gross item. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. So hot honey, so it's like a pepper sauce uh -huh. and honey and stuff like that. So yeah. that sounds interesting. Now, what is that? Like Chinese or something like that, or is that like an American <laughs> creation? I, uh, well, I think it's an American hipster creation, or at least. It's been popularized yeah. lately because that damn Mike's Hot Honey is everywhere. Mm. Smells good. It does yeah. smell good. And like, I like that there's a lot of um, mac and cheese. And yeah. there's a, the portion is actually good yeah. for the chicken and the mac and cheese. I agree. And I like that they used a different kind of noodle for the mac and cheese. It's not just like an elbow or a spiral. So that's kind of nice. Let's go. For if it. you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys. Welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. Very, very surprised here because normally we hate on Boston Market, the restaurant. I mean, oh, we did it right before the review. Well, we did, yeah. <laughs> the restaurant and the, the frozen foods, right? But this one is actually really good. The hot honey chicken, it's good. White meat chicken, um, I love the honey. I love the, the, the spiciness to it, but you know what? The spiciness is very tamped down. It's there more as flavor than as a, like a burning sensation, you know? Mm. Um, really good. And the portion, there was a lot of chicken, which was awesome. The mac and cheese though, that's what blew me away. Really, really surprised here because I, not a big fan of mac and cheese, but this one was really good. The pepper jack really made it awesome and how creamy it was. And just like the honey, it's not an intense spiciness. It's very subtle. It slowly, slowly creeps up on you. And I think it's, you know, um, if you don't like spicy food, would I recommend this? No, you know, because mm -hmm. um, it does creep up. I just love the mac and cheese. They did a great job on how creamy it is. I'm just in shock that Boston Market didn't have this up, you know? I'm really shocked. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. Reluctantly, I hate to give them any credit for anything because they really do mess up most things, but this actually was surprisingly good. I am with you on all of those things. I do feel like the chicken, it was good quality, number one. I always get the funky bits and I had no funky bits, so that was great. Now, I do feel like the spice level, I thought that that was going to be the hotter portion of the dish, but it really wasn't. It no. was quite mild. It did taste like honey, but even that was not 
super intense. It was almost more of like a adjacent to like a sweet and sour sauce yeah. kind of flavor to it. But but even that, not not the same. The mac and cheese though was the star. Like I could have just the mac and cheese on its own as like an entree. If they would sell that, like I'd be all over it. Cause I think that that was really good. The- They probably do in the restaurant, but then- Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to go into the restaurant. Well, and get it thrown at us. Yeah. But the creaminess of it, the spice level, it was spicier than the chicken, but still not like super intense. I would say that that was like a low medium. Whereas the chicken was more of like a straight up mild and the flavors of it, like you could taste the cheese, you could taste like the, the peppers and the flavor of the spices without like all of that heat just interfering with everything. I love the noodles that they went with. It was a nice like change of pace from your average macaroni noodle. This I'm like super surprised by. I was expecting to absolutely hate it. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.